I got so many comments about the pronunciation of my starting running back's name. And everybody in the comments thinks they're so smart. Well, here's something you guys don't know. I actually met my starting running back last year. And I asked him because so many people pronounce his name wrong. I said, how do you pronounce it? Here, from his own words, is how you pronounce his name. Are you ready? Go outside, touch grass, embrace a female. I know. I, it was it was hard for me to believe too. Okay, I'm sorry. I've been pronouncing this wrong. It's I believe it's Devon Achan instead of Devin Achan. But truly, at the end of the day, who cares? Let's get back to Wheel of Mutt, baby. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. You're getting three Wheel of Mutts a week for all of December. You're probably getting daily uploads in December too. We're we're getting after it. <laughs> The Wheel of Mud team is currently 3-0. and oh. We could use a little bit of help on the left side of the line. I'm not the biggest fan of the Zay Flowers. I got him, and now I'm thinking, man. DeCastro's nice. We've got at least one good offensive lineman. Defense is really where we need help. Linebackers are still pretty bad other than Ray Lewis. Derek Thomas is great, but he's not in the right position. Like, he really should be an edge rusher. But I want to keep Bosa and Bruce Smith here. So I don't really know what we're going to do with Derek Thomas. Vince Wilfork, nice little addition. But I still got Jacob Slade at D-tackle 2. Karamo has got to go. Demarcus Ware's got to go. Jerry Jacobs had a spectacular game last game. But at the end of the day, he's honestly very outdated. He's 5'10 with 88 speed. Derek Thomas is faster than my corner two. That's not good. Kair Elam has been shockingly good. And then is saying Bassey. All of my corners, slow key, could get an upgrade. Paul Krause. I actually really like Paul Krause. I think he'll he'll probably stay to the final lineup. And then obviously, Derwin James is a prestige. So I don't know. We'll see with defense. But this is kind of my focus point right now. Our kicker is locked in thanks to the prestige. And and 3-0 and means we have a little bit of leeway. I'd love to go undefeated, but we could afford a bad game. I'm not trying to tee up a bad game. I don't want a bad game. I won't waste your time, gentlemen. Let's get right in the very first wheel spin. Is it episode 30? It's episode 29, dude. We have a... Ooh. Yes! Oh, I've been waiting for this one. I know, I was in the middle of saying a lot. I just wanted to say, we have a lot of Wheel of Mud episodes this year. Hopefully we get to episode 69. But Immaculate Grid 15K per square. All right, so here is today's Immaculate Grid. I get 15,000 coins to spend on one player per correct answer. So let's start with Seahawks 3,000 plus yard passing season. Russell Wilson has to have done this. I refuse to believe he's never done this. Did I spell Russell Wilson wrong? A Jet? Honestly, I don't know a Jet who's done it, but I believe it could be any player whether they did it for the team or not and brett Favre ended his career with the jets i don't know if he did this with the jets but they should yeah they do they give that to you and then a panther who did it kim newton mvp had to have thrown more than three thousand three out the gates right there that's forty five thousand coins a niner seahawk i'm pretty sure jerry rice was a seahawk at one point so he should count here a niner i have a poverty ass option for <laughs> sam fucking darnold sam darnold uh and then another kind of bummy option david carr should be a texan panther but now i'm kind of drawing a blank on a jet niner jet niner seahawk texan and then jet texan i think was frank gore frank gore should be both of these teams i'm pretty sure jets and niners oh my god let's go i almost put frank gore on jets texans but i don't know if that's true uh ryan fitzpatrick oh my god am i actually gonna fuck Am I going to clean this? I'm going to clean house. I'm actually going to clean house. Um, Seahawk Texan. I have one guess left. I'm just going to type a name and I'm just going to guess. I'm going to go Richard Sherman. I, I don't know. But eight, eight is honestly a lot better than I thought I would do. Eight correct times 15,000 coins. 120,000 coins to spend on one player. That's pretty awesome. I think I know the perfect fit for this lineup. So 89 overall, Dave Robinson. Dave Robinson was the first player in this game to get the Lurk Artist ability. He's a 6'3 left outside linebacker. Really good stats. And most importantly, he is a coverage linebacker. He's got 90 zone and 90 man coverage. I want my edge pressure coming from my defensive line. And I want my linebackers to cover. Dave Robinson. Robinson's the guy. And honestly, I might just run two Lurk Artists. I'll run Lurk Artists on Ray Lewis and Lurk Artists on Dave Robinson. He's a little bit cheaper. Like, I didn't need all 120K, but I still think he's the perfect buy for this team. Unfortunately, the 90 overall outside linebackers were 130,000 coins. They were just out of my price range. So on defense, I'm going to take DeMarcus Ware out. I'm going to put Dave Robinson in. DeMarcus Ware is technically a better MLB too, even though that is such a disgusting position for him. But he is a little bit better. So I'm going to put him there. Now, Dave Robinson. I'm going to go ahead and give him Lurk Artist for 1 AP. And now we just got to free up a little bit of space on defense uh, so that I can activate that. One on him, three on Ray, two on Kraus. And just like that, we've got two Lurk Artists on the field. Excited to have Dave Robinson. That should be a lot of fun. And our second wheel spin. First one's got a Lurk Artist, 89 overall. Love to see that. And our second. Oh my God. I've been thinking about 
about this for so long, I don't even know what to take. A pack a punch lets me take any player on this team and turn them into the best version possible. For example, I could get the 92 Pat Tillman. Vince Wilfork, I could get the 92 Vince Wilfork. Derek Thomas has a pack a punch. Offensively, do any of these guys have a pack a punch? I don't think so. Maybe somebody on the offensive line does, but no. It's gotta be on defense. I was just talking about Pat Tillman, but I think the most important thing right now is Vince Wilfork. They are gonna be switching around a lot of abilities on this defense. My pack a punch is going to Vince Wilfork. What an awesome player to have. Dude, he could be a good prestige too. Big Vince Wilfork. 6'2", 325 pounds with 92 block shit, 92 power moves. He's not the fastest, obviously. That doesn't matter. This guy's gonna be a monster. Now, Big Vince we do have an ability dilemma here, right? Because not only does he have five options, but he has a discounted interior threat, which is a new ability this year. Aaron Donald Terminator gets it. You get dominant pass rush moves from the interior, but by and large, people are running inside stuff. 73% of Vince Wilforks are running inside stuff. 36% are running interior threat. I'm going dual threat because he gets a higher chance to defeat pass blocks and to activate it. He just has to make TFLs and inside stuff is just a TFL machine. Vince Wilfork. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And and now we have our third and final wheel spin. Honestly, if I could just get a better left end than Bruce Smith, I think my defense is gonna look a Maybe! I don't wanna speak too soon, Team Wheel Jackpot! Any single player, but they must be! Max Crosby, a Raider! Sorry, I was thinking in my head what I could get here. So the Max Crosby is an outside linebacker, but I can easily just put in my left end. That's also assuming I go Max Crosby. I'm sure there's a lot of good options. Oh, so I get any Raiders player. You just gotta hope they're not in jail. <laughs> oh, shit. There's a 92 right end, Howie Long. Uh, I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. I think this Howie Long is, is probably better than Max Crosby. Yeah, that Howie Long is is probably better. I'm still gonna go Max Crosby. Look at that guy, bro. You know he has the N-word pass. Ty, Ty my, my editor is black, guys. Ty, can you confirm? I can't make that determination. Um, he's gonna tell you exactly what. Shut, nigga! Oh my gosh. Max Crosby, 91 overall, 89 speed, 91 excel, 91 block shed, 91 finesse moves. He will be playing left end for this team. And you know what? I can move Bruce Smith to my backup D tackle. So this actually, this actually works out really well anyway. My only hope is that, can I like, does he have a secondary position? Not that it matters, but bingo. Cam's enabled, went right end. Says he's an 87 overall at left end. Whatever. I imagine he's going to get some heat. My D tackle two now is 75 overall Bruce Smith. Our team is still an 87 overall. It is a little ugly but I think it's the right decision. So at this point, there's only two players on this defense who are really out of position, and that's Derek Thomas and Demarcus Ware. These guys are meant to rush the quarterback. They're not coverage linebackers. So eventually, I'd like to get them replaced. For now, we're chilling. I'd like to upgrade the DBs, and I'd like to get a backup to Derwin James that isn't Pat Tillman, but I think we made all the right decisions today. Massive defensive upgrades. Max Crosby, Dave Robinson, and Vince Wilfork. Woo! Let's get it, baby. And of course, the challenge wheel. What do you got for me today, baby? Give me something. Give me something I could use. Oh, this actually would be good redemption. You guys remember when I sold the rushing yards challenge a couple games ago? 150 plus rushing yards is a lot, but it is as a team. It's a good thing I have Devin A. Chain to do it. It's a good thing, right? Guys, it's not my fault I have sexual intercourse, okay? If you have sexual intercourse with females, it causes you to mispronounce names. It's not my fault. Valio! Top three! It's got Will... Oh my God. It's got Vince Wilfork in it. He's got Jack Campbell, Lamar, and Gus. Got a little Eagles-Ravens matchup. Is this a potential Super Bowl? Dude, the more I see of the Ravens, the more I really, really like the Ravens IRL. Look at this, dude. Two Lurk artists in the middle. Dave or Lewis, I can use her whoever I want. Motion's one out. I don't see him getting anything, Max Crosby! We knew that was the right decision, right? He's gonna do something similar. He's gonna check down to Gus, make a crazy juke. Could definitely run the ball. I don't wanna pass commit quite yet. Oh, he's got that corner route. As saying Bassey with a nice hit. Valio's free forming. Does he go halfback? He does. Oh, nice hit, Derwin. I'm gonna use her Paul Krause because his man coverage is so bad. Oh, oh, damn. Damn, that came off so weird. I was ready for it, but I wasn't ready for everything he did after the catch. He's gonna fake it to Mark Andrews. Interesting play call, I like it. Okay, nickel 3-3. I actually like this. This is a really meta defense, but the run is pretty good against it. 
Devon a Chan. Devon a Chan is how you really say it, right? We'll start out with six yards. Yep, the throw's there. Yeah, see, like, I do, I want to scramble there, but I just, if I think too much about these rushing yards, I'm just going to lose. Them. All right, first and 10, we're just going to hand off to the boy. Ooh, okay. We'll get something out of this for sure. Ooh, I like that. Cut it up. Hey, Chan, use those wheels. Holy shit, he's going to go. Hey, Devin A. Chain in the end zone. 7-6, great start. And what, what would we say that is? I think I had 18 yards passing and that was a 76-yard drive. So every other yard should be rushing. 76 minus 58. The Philadelphia Eagles defense just does not have any of the plays that I'm familiar with. I like the offense a lot. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. Play action. He's got a deep corner. No, he doesn't, actually. Oh, I did not see that. Second and inches. Six for six, 110 yards. His Lamar is going off. I don't really know. Oh, he's got a very open. Oh, did he threw that late. Oh my God, he did. I was just about to say he threw that late and he put way too much loft on it. Ooh, if I convert every time, now that's game. This guy's never going to make a mistake like that again. This guy's way too good. Uh-uh. All right. Hey, we have to capitalize and capitalize hard on that. A-Chan, four rushes, 67 yards. Take your rushing yards. Go block, go block, go block, go block. 15 for Johnny. We're almost at 100. He's staying in cover three drop. I, I imagine. Wow. I was just about to say, I imagine he will switch defenses now. Ooh, that was a very nice play. And he switches off. Oh my goodness. I can motion gray out to guarantee that block. That's actually kind of sick. Damn, Ed Reed is fast. You're, tr you're tracking down. A-chan? Golly. Oh, what the fuck was that pass johnny football what was that i didn't even mean to go to him i was throwing to y dude i think i i think i goofed all my buttons there that's okay fourth and five i think we convert this wow that blitz was so hot i couldn't throw anything i gotta stop he gotta stop that last play with that weird ass throw that really ruined that there but that's on me i don't really i don't really know what i did but it doesn't matter we just got to get the ball back Looks like he will run the football. Don't know why he hurt it there. Floats went out to Mark. He's out of bounds. Is this RPO? It is. Oh, I wish he had thrown that. Oh, huge hit out of Ray Lewis. Okay, he's just gonna hand it off up the middle. Looks like he's probably just chewing clock. Oh no, okay. I actually don't know what he's doing. Oh! I have no fucking idea what that was, but it was nasty and I had nobody back. Dude, this play is fucking diabolical. This is RPO Peak Zone Bubble of this year. Now, he clearly can't show me how to stop it because he can't stop it. Absolutely does not stop it. He doesn't even get fucking close. Are you kidding me? Is this play really this fucking diabolical? That's 106 yards and Johnny has 15, which puts me at 121 on the game. We almost have the challenge wheel. The reason the challenge wheel is so important is because this is a close ass game and it's gonna be a good game. If I lose, which I don't plan on, but if I lose, I can salvage a player. So I really wanna have it here. Pin pull sweep. Yeah, he had that one bottled up. Second one, I'm gonna call the, or second 11, I'm gonna call the time. A chance gonna take that to third and two. I have one timeout left. Olsen! First and goal from the one. What a fucking catch from Greg Olson. Hey, we're the Philadelphia Eagles, right? So this should be easy. Johnny football's in! <laughs> Greg Olsen. I think Greg Olsen made that, though. He really did. He went for two with that fake little Mark Andrews sweep, and that's getting him in trouble because now we're up by one. Do we have the challenge wheel completed? Because A-Chan had another good run there. All I know is we're dominating with the run game right now. He's onside kicking. All right, let's get the hand steam out there. I don't actually know the meta for this. Do I run up and go grab this ball? All right, OBJ. Beautiful. Uh, probably don't chew clock. I'm gonna pull out stretch alert bubble. It is shocking that he doesn't know that I'm doing it. This is stretch alert bubble. I think he just ran him in middle. Oh my God, did I not get that? Fourth and inches. Holy shit, this is what I get for cheesing like a little dickhead. Dive at the middle. A chance just barely got it. Okay. Greg Olsen runs a beautiful route and he'll take us to third and inches. Oh my God, I had a touchdown, but Johnny football. Johnny Football! Oh my god, he's so fast! That ability! The escape artist, Johnny Football, makes this first and ten. I gotta go for two. Oh, he's got me bottled up. 
That's such a risky move. That's so stupid. Why the fuck would I throw that? I couldn't tell you why I wanted to throw that, boys, but I did. Keeps it with Lamar, goes down third and seven. I don't think he meant to do that. Guessing pass, could be a big stop here. Huge stop, fourth and four. And he's gonna no huddle it. Fourth and four. I can't, fuck. That was a very nice play on fourth and four by him. Goes up the middle, Will Fork was there, but kind of missed it. And now, dude, all that all that clock that I chewed is biting me in the ass, because he could... If I don't get a stop, he can chew the clock here and just end the ball game. Yeah, we knew that was coming. Thought I'd get him a little sooner. Second and seven. And I only have two timeouts. Yeah, dude, I put myself in a really tough spot. Those half back. No! Oh, I think that's game. I don't know why I, don't know why I threw that ball, but I did. Nice tackle. Second and nine. I'm not sure why he no huddles here. Peelers just threw a pick. Third and nine. I still have two timeouts, and he's gearing up for the field goal here. I'm interested to see what he does. I just hand this off, right? Oh my God, he's risking it. This is aggressive. Well, not anymore. Nice play. First and 10 calls the timeout. I assume they'll just run a few more plays and kick this field goal. I do have Avalanche. Though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, and that was a fumble. Although he might be on ball carrier conservative, so maybe it wasn't. Necessary. Second and inches. Justin Tucker will come out, bury it for the ball game. Won't let me call a timeout right now. I don't know why that is. One dice. All right, we are down to Zay Flowers. You got one in you? Zay Flowers, you got one in you? I think these are my best odds here. Dude. Hey, that was a great game by my opponent. Hey, I said the challenge win was important, and it was. GG's to Valio. I sold that game when I threw that stupid... I don't know why I did that. Honestly, though, like, if you throw three for six and you throw an interception, you don't really deserve to win. It would have been a cheesy-ass win if I had won this game anyway. I think he deserved it. He honestly played better. His one interception was bad, but my one interception was bad, too. I needed to convert on that last drive, at least get a field goal out of it. But, dude, we were fucking dominant on the ground, though. Achan was 14 for 126. Seven, nine yards per carry, a touchdown, a broken tackle. He was an absolute monster. 14 carries, 127 yards for HN, and four carries, 27 yards, Johnny Manziel. So I had 153 rushing yards, just barely over. But completing that challenge will, will salvage me a player here. Sadly, we dropped to three and one, and I can't open a pack. It's actually a huge bummer. Would have loved to open a pack here, but now we have to decide which one of these players we're actually going to keep and which we got to get rid of. So we have three options. We have Dave Robinson. We have Max Crosby. We have Vince Wilfork. Vince Wilfork is the highest overall and honestly, I think he's the most impactful. Max Crosby did have a really good game. Kind of want to keep him, but an inside stuff, 92 overall D-tackle is hard to come by. I think we stick with Vince. Robinson was nice too, but if I want to keep him, I got to win the game. I did not do. Alright, I'm going to sub back in Jacob Slade. At left end, I'm going to sub back in Bruce Smith. And at left outside linebacker, I'm going to put I'll just put Jeremiah Wusu karamoa Challenge wheel clutch. We keep Vince Wilfork with a dominant, dominant run game there, but no win in a close game. Nobody to blame but myself. I don't know why I threw that ball. I just wanted to, and I did. The, the voices in my head took over. Boys, I appreciate you watching. As always, get a little redemption next week. Three and one in Willamut. I'll see you guys then. Peace.